Squad. Squad. It's Squad. It's your girl, Ebony, the best. Guys, can we talk for a minute? Can we talk for a minute? Because, baby. Okay, so I know Letitia and Kimmy had some little thing going on with one of the cast member from the Bell Collective. And I think Carlos King was there. And... Guys, what I want to talk about is what Letitia said on the stand and then what Carla said when he was asked by a news reporter. I'm going to play the clip for you, but let me start by saying everything I'm about to say, it's alleged, it's all in my opinion, and it's all for entertainment purpose, all for entertainment purpose, okay? So, <clears throat> and guys, I want to make something very clear. In this corner... This corner over here, so right here, so in Ebony, the best corner. Mm -mm. No, ma'am, no, sir, no. I'm not commenting on anything, anything at all. And that's one period. I'm going to leave it at that. But let me let you hear what Letitia said. The person who always copying each other or the person who is always taking someone else's idea is now saying that what what she likes, I guess, now with the cast is that, you know, they're able to do things together, build businesses together. You know, she doesn't like the cattiness. I mean, mind you, the queen of cattiness, right? Says she doesn't like it. But let me play what um, <clears throat> Letitia had to say. Just give them examples of how we go travel together. I'm like, it's just so dope just seeing all of us together. Like, it just, it just makes my heart smile. So that's why, I mean, as females, you know, you can be catty and all of this, and your computer gets one another. And I just want to change that. Like, that's what we're going to showcase on the show. Like, see us working together. See us accomplish some great things together as a collective. And y'all believe me, I'm not knocking her. If this is now the new Letitia going forward saying that, <coughs> excuse me, she wants to work with the other ladies on the cast to be, um, work as a collective, do things together, grow together, you know, not being catty. Um, I guess for me, I have to start not looking at her as a catty person and y'all can drag me in the comment section. All right. Um, not look at her as, as a person as she was when she and Mel was beefing, but the person who she's trying to become now. Anyway, so then a news reporter asked Carlos King a question and he said, you know, <clears throat> basically asking him, how is it, you know, seeing that he has so much, um, uh, shows on TV now, blah, blah, blah. And the man said to him, well, the news reporter said to him, um, so with regards to the fight that took place, Carlos quickly, there was no fight. There was no fight. Um, and the other cast members was, I guess it were the other people on the panel was trying to say, yeah, you know, probably remember the things with, with Wanda, all of that. All right. He, no, they was scuffle. I think he called it scuffle, but let me let you hear what he had to say. For CBS in Washington, D.C. So this, this question is geared towards uh, the ladies with Huntsville and Carlos. I'm curious, you talked about kind of talking about the full range of stories and, and the, the shows that you have. How do you make sure that you're being both honest and not exploiting? I think there was a one season in particular where there was a physical altercation on Love and Marriage Huntsville. No, there wasn't. <laughs> Nobody, no, 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 no one touched each other. Okay. Now, no. there may have been some, you know, aggressive in your face um, I'll do this to you, but no one ever made contact. Thank you for the clarification. That's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you for the clarification, but still, um, <laughs> I'm curious, how do you, how do you balance that? How do you balance? In our, on our shows, Huntsville and Jackson, we make a part of the story. Y'all, correct me if I'm wrong. Carla said that nobody never made contact. Nobody never made contact. Didn't Wanda made contact with Mel by grabbing her by the back? That's a form of contact to me. But I digress. He also went on to post something about Letitia and um, Kimmy. It's too, like something about Letitia and Kimmy being two of his favorite people to be on a panel with. 
Like, oh, let's pick a side, pick a side, pick a side for once and for all, pick a side. You tell each and I can go through every interview Carlos have, right? And he would let everybody, oh, you're my number one. You're like, you're my number one. You're my number one. Like, pick a side, pick a side. I want to also talk about um, Martel Pick Me. And, you know, shout out to Queen Sheba. Shout out to Queen Sheba because, baby, she called it. I am going to co-sign what she said. Martel and the rest of his, well, and his gatekeeper, his, would she be the pimp or the head of, head of it? Heading the, the pimp, the, uh, Destiny. Destiny, Letitia, uh... And Martel is trying to get this girl Tiffany on the show. Reason why I said that, why all of a sudden, right? We're now seeing these cast members in pictures with somebody that Martel is supposedly supposed to be his new boo. It's kind of like, you know, I, I mean, is somebody playing in our face? Because first they were all booed up with Sheree. When they thought Sheree was the new boo thing. Till he went when they were at the Black Expo. Told him Marceau and Mar Ma Maurice. Acting as if the, you know, Sheree was doing something. Or cheating on him or doing something. Talk about she's somewhere in New York. I can't. I, I got to find a picture of his face. Like, boy, if you don't get away with that look. So, that's, that's one thing. They're going to put this girl on the show. This is, as Queen Sheba said. This is Martel's new storyline. He has nothing else going on for him. No wine, no boxers, no calendar, no um, gym, no cookbook, no nothing. This guy's rest assured she's going to probably be introduced as either Letitia friend or I heard word allegedly that Destiny is coming back. But I'm, I guarantee you if they don't want that thing to go any lower, then don't bring her back. Period. So, guys, I have to put this in here. So, you know, y'all know the whole thing that happened at the Montgomery. Why is Letitia putting up a post asking about where can we donate? Um, Letitia, isn't it allegedly that you know, owe people a lot of money and you haven't paid people a lot of money that you owe them? Hey, <laughs> I just wanted to put that in there, guys guys next i want to talk about mel and her weekend um seemed as if she had fun with lauren this weekend she was also cooking um stew i guess for jay he stopped by um there's another clip there where you're gonna see mel and Brittany. is it Brittany? no and lauren out getting her nails done and what she did with her toe getting glitter on it but she ended up changing it Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I will definitely talk to you again in the comment section or in my next video. Bye. <laughs>
please love forgive me for what the stove did There we go. I'm in and sad and can't get up out the bed and ah uh -uh, no no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am mm -mm, no. Mm -mm. I mean you can do that for maybe a day, but after that, <laughs> better get your butt up and keep it moving. <laughs> Like what? You better get up and keep it moving. Know, know where your strength and your help comes from. And it comes from the Lord. <laughs> oh, I can't mess up. But it does though. I ain't lying. It does come from the Lord. Okay. Well, my beauty, so I'm going to get ready to go. I've enjoyed y'all this morning, praying that y'all have an amazing week this week. I'll come holler at y'all. Y'all know I got to teach class tonight. Y'all got to teach class tonight, so I won't be on here tonight for sure. But I may come holler at y'all tomorrow. Check in with y'all. See what y'all have on. But thank y'all. I see y'all saying for me to have a great day too. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Um, and until next time, let me see. Is there any? Okay, weekend. I'm in Michigan. Um, you know, we just dropped our new strawberry lip and mango face scrubs. Um, yeah, I ain't really. I ain't got no announcements to make. All right, y'all. So. I'm going to leave. I love y'all. Prayers for an amazing week. And until next time. Thank you.